Hey, what's up dragons, it's Mr. Boylan, and I'm gonna show you how to sign up for Edmodo for the very first time. Uh, you wanna get to the Round Rock High School homepage. From there, you'll see a staff icon on the right-hand side with a drop-down menu. You want to hover your mouse over the science department, and from there, you wanna find my name, Patrick Boylan. When you click on my name, you'll be redirected to our class webpage, which you'll need to access frequently for all of the course information. Uh, for today's video, you want to look at um, Edmodo and how to sign up for Edmodo. Now to do that, you want to hover your mouse over either the pre-AP or the AP chemistry depending. Um, from there, you want to hover your mouse over the course description and then choose Edmodo. Now on this web page, you'll be given a video to watch if you choose that introduces you to the, some of the basics of Edmodo. Um, but more importantly, you'll see on the right hand side all the group codes that you need uh, to access Edmodo for your class period. It's important that you use the class code uh, for your class period to ensure that you get all the grades that you need. Um, once you've made note of your uh, class code or your group code, um, at the bottom left hand side, I've linked directly to Edmodo. You can just click on that link, which will take you directly to the Edmodo webpage. From there, typically you would just enter your username and password to sign into Edmodo, but since this is our very first time, you're gonna click at the bottom where it says, sign up now, it's free, I'm a student. Uh, from there, you're gonna enter the group code that you just uh, took note of from our class webpage. Um, and you can always go back to that class webpage if you've forgotten it. Uh, you're gonna create a username. This username needs to be unique. Um, if it's not unique, you'll get um, a little message from Edmodo telling you to change your um, username as someone else has already taken that one. And you'll also need to come up with a password. Uh, make sure that you use uh, some common practices when developing a, a password. Don't make it too short and make sure it's something that you can remember. Uh, from there, you've got an option to enter an email. I encourage you to please put your school email. Uh, do not put any personal email or additional email, school email only. And then you need to put your first name and your last name. In this case, it's just gonna be a sample, so I'll put John Sample. Uh, you will need to agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy for Edmodo, um, and your parents will need to do that as well. So check that box and then click sign up. Once you've done that, you'll be given access to the uh, course in Edmodo, and you're good to go.